O'Brien gives it back to Toffolo, takes it away from one and into the penalty area and away from a second and stabs it back for Lingard and it's going to be bundled in by Taiwo Awanyi! Lingard misses it, but it bobbled through the six-yard box and Taiwo Awanyi, the Nigerian, the £17 million pound man, scores for his first Premier League goal since 1999. Toffolo into the penalty area, lays it back out the box for Lingard. He drops it off now for Yates. Yates shoots, good save. Rebound! Pickford. Rebound! Yes! Parried away by Pickford. Out to the inside left channel. And Brennan Johnson ran onto it and swept it home. Cool as you like. Swept in by Gibbs White. And it's Tecuate who puts Forrest in front. And Johnson scores. Every single Fulham player is back inside the 18-yard box defending this. Oh, brilliant. He's earned his place in the team. A one right place, right time, right finish. Lingard's touch. Great ball. Johnson across. Big chance. Taken. Forrest back in it. O'Brien. The impact sub. Everybody back for Aston Villa inside their own penalty area. Gibbs White. Ooh, yes! Forrest in front. It's Emmanuel Dennis. Emmanuel Dennis with a near post header. Just stoops and diverted it inside the far post. He gets his first goal for the club in his first Premier League start. Gibbs White takes it, back post. Steve Cook brings it down brilliantly and volleys it in. It's hit the yeah! one year. Taiwo one year scores. And the city ground goes ballistic. Forest lead Liverpool by a goal to nil. Cook's driven cross. Six yards out. The first effort from Awanyi hit the post, came straight back to the striker, and he's belted it in in front of the Trent end. And it's Forest 1, Liverpool 0, 10 minutes into the second half. And Raya clears up towards Wissa, headed powerfully forward by McKenna. Dennis chests it down, coming back from an offside position, but he was onside, and here's Gibbs White wriggling towards the edge of the box, and fires a beautiful shot into the bottom corner from the edge of the penalty area. Morgan Gibbs White gets his first Forest goal, but Dennis is chest down right into the path of Morgan Gibbs White, who wriggled through challenges to the edge of the penalty area. And we're just seeing a replay, and I reckon Emmanuel Dennis is onside at the time Scott McKenna heads that ball forward. Here's O'Brien chipping one towards the back post, looking for Surridge, heads across the face of goal, comes out for Gibbs White, it's cleared off the line, did that go in? It's still going around, Forrest yeah! repairs, it's in, it's That's gone in. in! Forrest have got an equaliser! It's time! Brentford's turn to be furious. It was Gibbs White who hit it. It double deflected off two defenders before ending up going in. And now Aurier has it again, finding Johnson just inside the box, right side. Flashes in yes! the shot. And the save oh, is side. made by Guaita. And then Morgan Gibbs White tucks it home, but the flag goes up for offside. It's yes! Again, it's in! It's going to count, Morgan Gibbs White scores and now the celebration can continue. Here is the corner from Gibbs White and Havertz gets up at the near post, it's gone right up in the air, Forrest try for the second ball. Yes! It's Serge Aurier back post, Aurier scores, his first goal for Forrest. They've thrown everything at Chelsea at the start of this second half. And having seen Kepa save twice, and then Morgan Gibbs White hit the bar. They finally get the break of the ball inside the penalty area. And a tense evening on the south coast as Bella Kochap gives it away, and Johnson's in the clear. Johnson, right of centre, racing towards the penalty area, squares it back. Yes! A one year scores! That's better! Forrest in front, horrible error at the back. And Brennan Johnson seized on it, pounced on it, and instead of going straight for goal, he went right. 
and he looked up and he squared it for Taiwo Awanyi and Awanyi crashes it in from four yards out and Forrest are in front now Surridge forward to Gibbs White good ball Gibbs White looking for Johnson it's going to be offside I think Johnson is through and Johnson beats the goalkeeper and Johnson rolls yeah! in and oh, then the flag goes up he's off he's off yeah I thought he would be I ha- and I don't think VAR is going to help Forrest it will check it obviously it's going to be given yes get in there Brandon Johnson's goal stands VAR works in Forrest's favour and Forrest lead they capitalised on Leicester being all over the place and it's Morgan Gibbs White's ball through to Brennan Johnson Johnson skipped around the goalkeeper and rolled it in he out wide to the right again for Castagna he crosses Worrell gets his head to that and heads it away hoisted away by O'Brien to Gibbs White and Gibbs White with an acrobatic scissors kick to get it further away then Surridge holds on to it gives it back to Gibbs White oh Gibbs White couldn't quite get it under control and Forrest were three again two now he has got it under control and pings out a ball to Johnson Johnson away from his man yes finishes what it a goal. that is a superb finish from Brennan Johnson and Forrest lead 2-0 wonderful wonderful clip inside the far post from Johnson after getting beyond the last man from a widest right position and finds the inside of the far post in front of the Trent end gets his second goal of the afternoon gets Forrest's second goal of the afternoon Gibbs White the provider again and the pace of Johnson got him beyond the defenders and the finish was sublime Forrest 2, Leicester City 0 Danilo tries to get it under control, can't do so, but then Kiefer Moore gives it away to Gibbs White. Over the top, inside right channel for Johnson. Yes! In back post is Surridge. Surridge scores. As he returns to his old stomping ground, he slides in back post, and Forrest have got the equaliser. They've been threatening. And as the ball is driven across from the right-hand side, Surridge slides in at the back post and it's taken by Morgan Gibbs White towards Willy Bolly misses him comes for John oh! who volleys oh, in word. from about 15 yards out low into the bottom corner and Forrest are in front after 13 minutes as clean a hit as you could wish to see from Brennan Johnson who smashes it in and gets Forrest in front wins the free kick and as Morgan Gibbs White delivers, it comes to the back edge of the penalty area on Brennan Johnson's right foot. And Johnson does not need asking twice. For Froiler, as much possession of Forrest have kept in the game. Williams forward to Gibbs White. Gibbs White moves it quickly to Johnson. Johnson right wing. Johnson cutting in. He's away from one. He's into the penalty area. Leaves it for Gibbs White. Yeah! And it's in! It's Chris Wood back post! That's brilliant from Gibbs White and Johnson! Chris Wood from a yard out gets his first Forest goal. Low ball in from the right hand side. Gibbs White and Johnson were brilliant down that right side. There's always the question was Chris Wood onside as he got to it at the back stick? But that was brilliant football. Superb from Gibbs White. Colback now forward to Gibbs White, who's found some space 30 yards out forward towards Wood gives it back to Gibbs White Gibbs White curls it blocked tucked in by Johnson back stays down Johnson scores 1-1 so much better from Forrest great ball into Gibbs White Gibbs White's 1-2 with Chris Wood was perfect Gibbs White shot palmed by Jordan Pickford right into the path of Brennan Johnson and Johnson scores Everton threatened to break again but it's well won by Felipe that frees it up for Johnson he gives it Yates Yates tucks it back for Johnson chance for Johnson top corner 2-2 Brennan Johnson gets his second and Forrest are right back in the game 14 minutes to go and how crucial a goal could that be from Brennan Johnson Top back in field by Ryan Yates to pick out Johnson 14 yards out and left footed he finds the top left corner of the Trent end net Pickford no chance 
and Forrest back on terms. Corner then from Morgan Gibbs White from the left hand side, right footed in swing, a back post headed in by Joe Worrell. Forrest have a goal. The first header at the near post was flicked on, and Worrell met it at the back post and heads it home. This is sent forward long by Shelby. Are you trying to get away from Botman? Back pass has gone straight to Dennis. It's held up by Pope. Dennis has scored! Dennis chips it in, and Forrest are in front. Horrendous back pass from Sven Botman. And Dennis kept his nerve and kept his head. And it looked like Nick Pope had shepherded him away. But he looked up and he chipped it through the gap from an angle right-hand side and gives Forrest what could be a crucial lead after 25 minutes at the city ground. It's Emmanuel Dennis, his second goal for Forrest, his first start in the Premier League since November. And Forrest, thanks to a Sven Botman mistake, are in front. Forrest 1, Newcastle 0. And near Kate wins it before it gets to halfway. Gibbs White and uh, Danilo linking up nicely. Gives it back, Gibbs White to Danilo, who rides a challenge and then puts it over the top inside right channel. Yes! Yes! Great football! Danilo involved! And Brennan Johnson with a fine finish from a tight angle gives Forrest the lead on a crucial afternoon here at the city ground. Dennis intercepts and then plays a lovely ball into Danilo. He gives it to Dennis again, wide on the left-hand side. Dennis trying to trick his way into the penalty area. Pulls it back towards Mangala. Mangala yes! tucks it into the in corner. It's a fabulous goal from Forrest. Wonderfully worked. And Oral Mangala, the Belgian, gets his first Forrest goal. Kept his head from about 16 yards out, sidestepped his man, looked up and found the bottom corner and gives Forrest the perfect start after 11 minutes at Ellen Road. Twice they've gone close already and now they have the lead. Mangala's first goal for Forrest, the summer signing, after Emmanuel Dennis down the left-hand side pulled it back and set him up beautifully. And hurls it long down the left-hand side, helped on by a Wanyi to Gibbs White. Look at the space for Nico Williams. Gibbs White plays it into Williams. Williams drives. Oh it's yes! In! Forrest score. Nico Williams scores. Fire a deflection. A touch from Allison as well, and it took it in. And Forrest are level. Six minutes into the second half, and it's Nico Williams returning to Anfield. Doesn't celebrate a lot in front of the supporters, but he does celebrate with his teammates who go across and mob him. The Forest fans away to the left at that Anfield Road, of the, uh, Anfield Road end of the ground. Well, that's Limbs away to that left-hand side. It's only about 12 yards out as he hurls it in towards the near post, headed on by Felipe, comes down. Yes! Who follows it in, and Forrest have equalised again. It's 2-2. Two -two. Forrest score twice away from home at Anfield of all places. And Morgan Gibbs-White gets his third goal of the season. Long throw, headed on by Felipe. Came out for Gibbs-White, 12 yards out, on the volley. Chucked it low into the bottom corner. Liverpool. And it's Liverpool 2, Forest 2, halfway through the second half. Bouncing ball inside the uh, Brighton half. And Danilo gives it to Gibbs-White. Back to Danilo, forward to Awanyi inside the penalty area. Awanyi gives it to Lodi to cross. And it's in! It's deflected in! Lodi banged in the cross from the left-hand side and it deflects eventually off Jason Steele and in. Off a defender, off Steele, into the net. Forrest are on terms. Lewis Dunk. Dunk drops it forward towards Casado. Danilo nicks it off him and Danilo goes on the run ahead of Awanyi and gets it back. Danilo into the penalty area. Yes! Too slow into the corner. Oh, my word. Across the face of goal. Danilo scores his first Forrest goal in front of the Trent end. And the Reds lead Brighton by two goals to one. Halfway through the second half. The young Brazilian has edged Forrest in front. Nicking the ball away in midfield. Then running ahead of Awanyi to get on the end of Awanyi's return pass down the inside right channel. And driving it beyond steel. Low into the opposite corner. It's Forrest 2, Brighton 1. And as it stands, Forrest out.
outside the Premier League's relegation zone. Well, I tell you what, on the halfway line, he's almost done it all himself. Can Morgan Gibbs-White give them daylight as they move into stoppage time? Gibbs-White, right... Yes! Sends yes, the goal the wrong way! Rolls it low into the right-hand corner! And Forrest lead Brighton by three goals to one as we enter stoppage time. Morgan Gibbs-White gets his second in two games. And it's headed by me, comes down for Gibbs-White, controls, hits it. Ooh! Sp- yes! Goal! Danilo scores. Late in the first half in stoppage time, Danilo makes it two in two. It was cleared to the edge of the penalty area. The drive from Gibbs-White was blocked, it fell to Danilo, edge of the six-yard box, and Danilo sticks it in the top corner. Danilo scores, goes and celebrates in front of the Forest fans in that far corner with the rest of his outfield teammates, and Forest have got 1-0 ahead right on the stroke of half-time. Just as we were ticking over to a minute of added time, Danilo crashes that into the top corner of the net from close range, and it's Brentford nil, Forest one. Chip forward by Walker Peters. There's a shove by Adams on near Kate. Forest have taken this free kick very quickly through Loddy to Danilo. Danilo over the top looking for Johnson. It's a great ball. Johnson cuts it in field, and yeah! away he fires it in. Oh, what a goal! Danilo, Johnson, a one year, one time, one time, one time, one time, 12 yards out, bang, goal, Forest one, Southampton nil, first blood on a crucial, crucial night in the Premier League, and that from Forest was Premier League quality, a one year gets his sixth, Assist by Johnson, Danilo and Loddy involved. Brilliant one-touch football, 1-0 Forrest. Yeah. It's blocked, Yates heads it wide to the left-hand side for Loddy, into Danilo, Danilo helps it on towards the one yeah. and a one yee turns and volleys it in from six yards out. A one yee scored two in three minutes, and Forrest leads Southampton 2-0. Constant pressure from Forrest, they would not be denied. The ball kept coming out and they kept putting it back in again. And a one year in the end. Turns, swivels, six yards out and crashes home a waist high volley and makes it Forest 2, Southampton nil. 21 minutes in at the city ground. At the Bridgeford end in front of the Southampton fans up against Alex McCarthy who stands big on his line. Here's Morgan Gibbs-White stepping up, bangs it down the middle. And McCarthy jumps out of the way and Forrest are 3-1 ahead and Johnson now controls and forward by Worrell to Coyato who leaves it now for Johnson Johnson pulls it back Gibbs White leaves it run Danilo fires in Danilo has three in three and Forrest have a fourth on the night lovely little touch from Gibbs White to set up the Brazilian and Danilo thumps it in in front of the Trent end to give Forrest the goal they so, so badly needed. It's 4-2. They restore their two-goal lead. Great break down the right-hand side. Eventually, Johnson's ball in. Lovely little flip from Gibbs-White to leave Danilo in space. Left foot crash into the net. Forrest 4, Southampton 2, 17 minutes to go. Danilo finds Loddy. Loddy with a cross. Yes! Oh, one yes! In. Get in there! Oh, it's really good football and it's a great goal. Forrest are in front, 13 minutes in. Danilo with a ball out of the middle of the Chelsea half, left-hand side. Loddy's cross, Tyro Awani rose high and belted his header in from about seven yards out beyond Edouard Mendy. In it goes, longer this time. They're battling for it, comes out for Mangala. Yes! To the back post, headed in by a Awani. He looks Not over his shoulder again. towards the flag. The assistant referee keeps his flag down. A Awani scored again. Long throw caused problems. Mangala stuck it back up to the back post. A one ye headed it in. We may have to have a look at VAR. They may check it. 
And Wanyi's first response was to look over his shoulder to see if he was onside. The assistant referee was running back to the halfway line and Forrest have equalised. It's Arsenal who pick it up but then give it away. And now Gibbs White leaps across halfway and it's two against yeah. two. Go on, and Gibbs it. White thinks it's a one year. Yeah, 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 yeah! 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 In front! 19 minutes in at the Sydney ground. It's his fifth goal in three games. A break across halfway. Morgan Gibbs White ran into deep into the Arsenal half and fed it down the inside right channel for a one he was being closed down he's got his shot away and it's low into the Trent's end net and Forrest strike first on a night when they might might secure their Premier League status for another season Forrest hit the front it's that man again it's Taiwo Awani again no, nope, their possession is great, although Odson Edwards given this away and Gibbs White early forward for a one year and a one year's beaten the flag. He's onside, goalkeeper comes halfway, the defenders getting back, a one year turns one way or the other and then fires it in. Left footed across the face of goal and in. VAR will probably have a look at that to make sure that a one year was onside from Morgan Gibbs White's early ball forward. But a quick look up. And a Wanyi was away. Goalkeeper came halfway and then decided to go back. A Wanyi held on to it, twisted one way, twisted the other, turned away from Joachim Anderson, who got back to hold him up, and fired the shot low across the face of goal and into the bottom corner.